Presenting Bianca's Circulatory and Respiratory System Project. Enjoy! Hey Bianca, you want to play tennis ball? Um, I have to do my respiratory and circulatory system project, but I'll play with you first. Mommy to bring you to the doctor. Okay. Hi, my name is Dr. Y. Looks like you have a big wound. I fell, doctor. Let me take a closer look at the bone. It looks infected. Don't worry, your circulatory system will help you. What's the circulatory system? I will show you. Hi, I am Circa. Let me help Dr. Brian to explain to you how your circulatory system can help you in healing that wound. First, let me tell you about the circulatory system. The circulatory system is made up of heart, blood, and blood vessels. The blood vessels include the arteries that carry carries blood with oxygen to different parts of the body and the veins that carry blood with little oxygen back to the heart. The capillaries are the smallest blood vessels and they make it possible for oxygen and carbon dioxide to exchange between blood and the tissues. The blood has the red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. You want to know the drops of these cells? Watch this. Anything about the respiratory system? No. I'll show you. I am Lou and Yul. We are twins. Dr. Brian also checked Bianca's lungs during the doctor's visit. Let me tell you about the lungs and how we work together with the, with the heart. We inhale oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide. We inhale oxygen, then it goes down to your nasal cavity, to your pharynx, then to your larynx. Then it goes down to the trachea, 
to your lungs, then to your bronchi, then to the bronchioles. Then it goes to the alveoli sac, where the process of gas exchange that takes place in the alveoli. Carbon dioxide is taken from the blood. Oxygen is then is taken from the air we breathe in. This means oxygen is added to the blood and we breathe out carbon dioxide. Then it goes to your capillaries and it goes to your heart. I am the heart. I am an important part of the body because I pump blood. I have four chambers. The left atrium, the left ventricle, the right atrium, and the right ventricle. The, the blood with not so much oxygen goes to my right atrium, to my right ventricle, and through my pulm pulmonary artery, and it goes to the lungs. The blood with a lot of oxygen from the lungs goes to my left atrium, to my left ventricle, and through the biggest and through the biggest artery, the aorta, and it pumps to the rest of the body. Hi, this is Circle again. Let's go back to Bianca's wound and how her blood cells help her. The red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets all rush to the wound to help it heal. The platelets help to stop the bleeding and the white blood cells help to fight infection. The blood brought nutrients to the wound and it formed a scab. After a week, Bianca went to see the doctor again and this time her wound is healed. The end. Till the next adventure of Circa, your circulatory system narrator.